what is going on everybody so today i'm going to be doing a tag video this video is brought to me to my it was brought to my attention by Melly mel shaves and i believe if i'm not mistaken the tag goes fragrances for a year and uh it has to total under 500 dollars so for me this will be an easier tag because i tend to buy more uh budget friendly fragrances and fragrances that are not so taxing financially i have mine lined up here uh from spring, summer, fall, and winter. So we're gonna get right into it. First fragrance is Lou Dizzy. Boom. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. To me, this is a perfect spring fragrance. Super bright, super fresh, just completely fresh fragrance. It's relentless, how it performs. Performs really well on my skin. Um, just super bright, and it just reminds me of spring, like a, a really bright and fresh uh, beginning and it's just excellent fragrance this one is priced at thirty dollars uh, at least that's how much it was when i picked it up on fragrance.net that's what i've been going to lately second fragrance this one is from sensual obsessions this one is titled the prince this is a hybrid between uh mf uh, mfk 540 uh baccarat rouge 540 and elysium super nice fragrance it is still kind of warm in a way with that, that Baccarat Rouge in here. With those citruses and that, that wood and the musk from Elysium, some kind of way neutralizes that really warm and sensualness and adds like a nice fresh component to it. And this fragrance is just bomb. These are priced at this size, the uh, 30 mil, priced at around $35 on sensualobsessions.com. Second one, this is also a spring fragrance, Angelic Effect. One of my favorites from this house, completely one of my favorites. This is a variation or hybrid of Roja Dove Elysium and Anisio Side Effect. It's fresh, it's not warm, it's slightly spicy. Uh, with the Nisio side effect, they use a lot of spices, and but for some reason, the spices don't come off heavy and like kitchen cabinet, like so far as spices, it comes off a little, I don't know, airy, a little herbaceous. I would, I guess, I would say, but it seems more so airy and, and just kind of bright for it to be a bunch of spices. I believe it's cardamom, nutmeg, cinnamon, and maybe coffee or something like that. I know it's like four four notes in the Nisio side effect. Paired with the Elysium, which has like 30 notes, it just is just a powerhouse fragrance. And I really, really love this. This one is also priced at 35. My last spring choice is Trey Nuit by Armaf. This one is a variation of Green Irish Tweed and Green Irish Tweed is just super fresh. I kind of like those really bright, airy, just fresh kind of scents uh in the spring because it's just it's really bright it's really inviting uh just kind of got like that new beginning the same way spring kind of comes across this one has that uh that lemon verbena the iris i believe the ambergris is in here as well this one is just really nice it may be a little bit of sandalwood or some sort of musk or something like that but this one is just a super super clean it's almost like an Irish spring, but just probably like nine times better. That is super good. And that is Trey Nui by a moth. This cost me about $18 on fragrance.net. Now we're heading into the summer. Now these are scents that I used frequently in the summer. Uh, one of the scents that I use frequently in the summer as well was also in the spring, uh, spring section, which was the angelic effect. But we're gonna leave that one there and we're gonna start off with this one dolce gabbana light blue gotta have this it's a classic scent uh that grapefruit i believe that's in here the grapefruit the that salty marine sort of vibe that it has just super fresh vibrant uh aquatic man this is just a perfect perfect summertime fragrance this one is priced at $35. Uh, that's how much I picked it up. And this is the 2.5. Uh, 
next one, which I believe this one is kind of like a variation of the light blue, but I'm not sure exactly. I feel like it's kind of mimicking that light blue. This is fresh water from Bath and Body Works. I picked up a series of aquatics from them last summer, and this is one of my favorites. Uh, I used it quite a bit, but I was interchanging some stuff and but yeah, I used it pretty decent amount. When I picked this up, it was uh, it was on sale, but this regular price was $40. So that's what I had this listed at. And this one is a musky a musky aquatic kind of kind of woody but very very slightly sort of creamy at the same time. And that's from Bath and Body Works. That one is priced at $40. Next one I have is I want to say this is Territoire Wild. This is their variation of the EDT Sauvage. Has a magnetic top, which I thought that was pretty cool. Really nice bottle. This is a 3.4 ounce. Super, super, super fresh. Like I said, that Ambroxan in here is just a bomb of that. They do a really good job with depicting that Savage here, and I think they added like a little their own little twist. And this one was just like a bit fresher, uh, a bit fresher, and it seemed like it was slightly peppery, uh, just slightly, not like the EDP. But yeah, this one's really nice, and I picked this one up for twenty dollars. Next, and the last one on the summer list is Derby Clubhouse Blanche. Look at that plate you see you can see me clearly right on the plate every clubhouse blanche bar i'm off and this is their variation of silver mountain water i had like three silver mountain water variations actually four i had an oil from uh african imports i hated it because it it turned real rancid on my skin so i threw it in, in the trash i had uh sun java white supremacy in heaven and derby clubhouse blanche uh, some Java white I gave to my brother because I just had too many Silver Mountain water clones and I wasn't really wearing them as much because I, I had so many. This one is smooth, it's creamy, fresh, vibrant, uh, metallic, slightly inky. Uh, some people say they don't really get that, but I definitely get it. But it's not as loud and as bold as Supremacy in Heaven. This one's a bit creamier and a little bit more wearable. And I believe this one's a slightly a bit more affordable than Supremacy in Heaven. Supremacy in Heaven, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say that one was like 40, about 40 maybe for that one, 35, 40. I picked this up and this was around $22 when I picked this up. Next one, and this is starting the fall fragrances. So I have three fragrances sitting in the fall collection. And that's because I kind of interchange and mix and mingle my fall and my winters. But these are the ones that I would like say that I would dedicate to fall. First one, Euphoria Intense by Calvin Klein. Love this. Musky, slightly sparkly, kind of got like this leathery feel to it. Could be some amber in here as well. Got like this sparkling kind of effect. I'm not sure if it's a, a nutmeg present or maybe a cardamom or something like that, or a coriander. It's just a really nice, I gotta try a little bit of this on. Mm. That is just nice. Really chill scent. You can wear this as a date night fragrance, uh, especially in the fall. I can see this being a work fragrance in the fall. Uh, you got you a nice little scarf. It definitely hit a few hits of that. Got a light little casual jacket. This will go good with that. Love this fragrance. Uh, this is Euphoria Intense by Calvin Klein. And this one is priced at $25. Next one is a very popular one in the fragrance community uh, for good and bad reasons. Love the Weed Intense. I mean, I love this one. Compliment Magnet huge bottle 6.8 ounces i mean for real why do i need that uh it's you know i got the Aventus dna comes off a little more uh harsh in the beginning a little duskier a little uh smokier 
uh definitely has the pineapple uh accord there i don't know if there's an actual pineapple note in this there might be but i want to say it was lemon the last time i checked and i could be wrong mixing some things up nice little prominent pineapple note but this one is more so like a semi juicy but definitely smoky batch and it lasts a long time this on me lasts roughly around i'd say 10 to 12 hours love it next one on the list oh i'm sorry and that one was priced at that one was priced at the calvin klein was about 30 sorry about that and the next one this one was priced at about 45 so now we are here alt fragrance love their line they have some good stuff and this one right here was a perfect perfect fall fragrance this is a variation of baccarat rouge 540 Oh, crystal 23 definitely love that that citrus that cotton candy slight sweetness it becomes slightly resinous uh it kind of gives me like a like a like a sweet fireplace kind of vibe if that makes sense like a sweet citrus fireplace that's what it reminds me of love this fragrance it 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 has a decent amount of projection does well i get quite a bit of compliments i remember i end up mixing this and that elysium together oh well, i didn't mix it but i just layered it uh did a layer of the baccarat rouge and then a layer of the elysium from all fragrance that one is titled norvana and wore that and got quite a bit of reactions from that one from that particular combination of fragrances uh alt number 23 crystal baccarat rouge 540 variation Definitely check that out. And that one is priced at $35 as well. And now we're getting into the winter. So the very first one I want to check out or try out for uh, winter. It's Montaigne Parfums Vanille Fresh. This one is a variation of Parfum de Molly Layton. And it is a great variation. I have a sample of Parfum de Molly Layton, and to be honest, their version smelled lazy in comparison to this one. Their version smelled like the very lazy version of a spicy gourmand apple pie. This one smelled like an, a very juicy, vibrant, loud, and spicy apple pie. And I love the way that that smelled. This was so good, the way that the scent, the way that the scent came off. This lasts a while on me. This lasts me about eight to ten hours. Nice size bottle. This is a 1.7 ounce. I think I picked this up on Montaigne Parfums for about it was roughly about $45. This next one is a complete powerhouse. This thing lasts at least 12 hours. You don't need a lot of it. It is super strong. It has made many of my lists, and it probably will make many more. Frank Olivier, Ooh Touch. I stand by this fragrance. This is a great wintertime fragrance. It's spicy, it's resinous. It has that Oud behavior going on. But I don't know if they use agarwood. I want to say they use like a Brazilian rosewood or something like that. I don't know if they use an agarwood. There may be cedar. It may be some sandalwood in there as well. I know they got rose, mandarin, raspberry, um incense now this thing is just good it, it may be some cinnamon it may be some uh tobacco maybe tobacco uh tobacco leaf i'm not sure but this thing is a performer you don't you do not need a lot one two maybe three and you're good keep the bottle with you in case you may want to just be a little louder in the day but to be honest you're going to be fine with that Spread on clothes, it's gonna last even longer. Be careful. That is Frank Olivier Ooh Touch. That one is priced around $20, like $18, $20 the last time I picked it up. And this one is one of my favorite wintertime fragrances. Oh man, I just love this. And this is Sabawa Ooh by Rihanna. Sabawa Ooh. Love the bottle, like a Zerzhov, uh bite on the bottle, definitely. 
a super exaggerated cap like this how far up it goes is just a little exaggerated really nice size bottle 3.4 ounce bottle super resinous and just dry and then slightly sweet um slightly musky but it's just like this nice sweet dry wood smell and they got this soft creamy sweetness that comes in with it this is some good stuff here let me try this on it comes off a little boozy as well it smells like there's some cognac in here but i don't believe that there is it was hard for me to find a note layout for this i know fragrance anatomy uh he ended up finding it but i ended up losing it but it smells boozy coming out of the bottle on skin but it's resinous sweet dry woody beautiful oud fragrance sabuwa oud by rihanna and that one is priced at 35 dollars so for the total for this is going to be hitting at 483 dollars if i'm not mistaken so we're slightly under that 500 dollar uh marker for the fragrances i believe this was this was the way to do the tag hopefully i did it right hopefully i did it justice Melly Mel Chase, thank you for uh, inviting me to do this tag and, and hitting me up. It was a pleasure to do this. Like I said, I love doing content and cranking out more content for you guys. Uh, and I've been really enjoying doing tags. Until next time, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon. Peace.